Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome back to Subject English Class 7. Today we start Unit number 8 poem Meadow Surprises, which is written by Louis Brent Phillips. Now, students, first of all, we'll see what is Meadow Surprises. The title of the poem is is meadow surprises now what is meadow meadow means open grasslands so here we'll talk about the open grassland what we'll see in this open grasslands in the garden that we'll discuss in this poem but before we start our poem I just like to see you a short summary of this poem. In this poem, we will learn students about the open grassland. In this open grassland, the poet is telling that there are many surprises for us, but the charm of beauty can be noticed only by people with a keen eye and a sharp ear. Means if you will see very clearly, when you observe it very clearly, then and then only we can able to see it. When we listen very carefully, then only we can able to listen each and every voice which will come from this open grassland. The poet's advice is that one should walk softly through green grass and try to enjoy the music of flowing stream. One can see a butterfly resting upon a flower and sipping its juice. So here the poet observes very, uh, we can say that very clear way. The flower, butterflies, other insects. Even it's possible that you may frighten a rabbit to make it run away. When you blow a dandelion flower, its fluffy parts fly in the air. Green fields have a number of houses. Bureaus in the ground. Birds make nests on the tall grasses. And hills also we can find in the grasslands. But we can discover these all things only if we look for them kindly or lend our ears to them. So here Poi telling these only that we can see everything, we can discover everything. But for that we have to lend our ears and eyes to them. So now, this is a short summary of this poem. Now we'll start the explanation of the poem line to line. Now look at here, before we proceed. So here, we'll see the introduction of our poem, which is given on the top of the poem. Walk across a green field, a park or ever under a clump of trees and you will notice many wonderful things. What are some of the surprises a meadow has for someone with a keen eye and a sharp ear? So in this whole poem, the poet telling us these only that we can discover each and everything before then we have a keen eye and sharp ear if you observe it with a keen eye and with a sharp ear we can find we can discover lots of surprises which the meadow has so let's start this poem now students look at the first stanza of this poem meadows have surprises you can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. Meadows have surprises. 
The open grass lands have many surprises, many wonderful things. You can find them if you look. But what the poet telling us? You will find these all surprises if you will look them. Walk softly through the velvet grass. What's the meaning of velvet? Velvet means soft. Soft grass. And listen by the brook. Brook means a small river, a small stream. So it's known as brook. Now look at in this picture. Look at this picture. It's a small river, a small stream. So it's known as brook. So here in this first stanza, the poet is telling that meadows have wonderful things, different and many surprises. But for that we have to first look it. We have to walk very softly on the grass and we have to listen the voice of the water, brook of a small river, of a small stream which is passing near this garden, near the open grasslands. So here the poet is telling that one pays attention. A meadow has several surprises to offer. It is a great pleasure to walk through the soft grass and hear the sound of the brook. Now let's move to the next stanza. I hope students are enjoying this poem. Now look at here. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking shrews to sip the nectar up. Now look at here. The butterfly is sitting in a, on a flower. Look at here. You may see a butterfly on the open grassland. You will see butterfly, different different colors, beautiful colors, butterfly also. Rest upon a buttercup. Now, what is buttercup? Buttercup is a one kind of flower. Is a yellow color, like a cup shaped flower. So, butterfly sit on the buttercup on the flower and unfold its drinking straws. Unfold means open up. Unfold means open up. The butterflies open the straws. Straws means drinking straws. So here drinking straw means the hollow dry sticks used for sucking liquid. So here the butterfly has some straws, some stick. So they are open it to sip the nectar up. Sip. Sip means to drink slowly. And nectar, a sweet fluid produced by flower. Or you can say divine drink. So the butterfly is started to drinking the juice with the help of straws from the buttercup. So here look at a beautiful observation of the poet. He is observing very carefully, very keenly that this butterfly is sitting on the buttercup. After sitting, he is opening the straws to drink the juice of the flower. Now it's a natural butter. This flower is a natural which is made by God. It is made by God. So butterf we know that flowers are so beautiful. This butterfly is drinking a juice from this flower. And that's why the poet is written here nectar word. Nectar means divine drink. Is a Sweet juice produced by flower. So students in the second stanza, 
the poet describe a beautiful sight that the meadows have and the poet is telling that it's possible to come across a butterfly comfortably placed upon buttercup or flowers full of nectar full of juice it would seem as the butterfly is sipping nectar from the birds and flowers with the help of a drinking straw now we'll move to the next stanza you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first you may not see him when he hopes you will you may scare a rabbit scare means frighten you may frighten by rabbit rabbit hare who is sitting very still still means silent without any movement no movement the rabbit is sitting very silently and maybe you are feeling scared maybe you will feel frightened though at first you may not see him when he hopes you will he is sitting very silently so maybe you have not seen him first him is used for rabbit when he hopes you will hopes means jump jumping so when he is jumping that that time might be you know that there is a rabbit so here another observation of poet from the grassland that rabbits also living in the grassland open grassland and they are sitting very silently maybe you don't know that they are near to you only but when he jump that time suddenly when he jump that time might be you feel scared so here another description of the beautiful sight the poet has given to us that walking on the soft grass one may not immediately able to see the rabbit which is hiding under the tall bushes the rabbit might get frightened by our footsteps and would hop out of the grass that indeed is a sight worth watching so here even we too frightened and because of our human being maybe the rabbit also feel frightened so that's why that time the rabbit can jump and he also feels scared and we too feel scared scared here written the meaning frightened or afraid of so students here the poet described beautifully the open grasslands in first stanza we have seen that the poet is telling that in the meadows there are many surprises but for that first we have to look it carefully a beautiful soft grass there then small streams are moving but first we have to listen carefully them after the poet describing in a second stanza about butterfly that butterfly take a rest on buttercup and taking a juice drinking a juice from that buttercup and for that he is opening the straws for drinking nectar divine juice then in the third stanza we have seen that the rabbit can feel frightened because of our footsteps the voice they, they can easily listen so that at uh, that time we too frightened when he jump so students the three stanza we have completed today if you have any doubts read any meanings or anything so you can tell me you can write in the comment box so in the next video 
I can solve it. Take care. Learn well. Do your best. Thank you all of you and have a great day.